It's July 15th, 2021, and I'd like to, to take a look at man's allotted time for redemption being in a period of 7,000 years. Now, this is an old uh, school teaching of prophecy, one of the oldest, and um, the problem that they made in years past is that they started with the year of creation uh, here, up here, 4004 B.C., and because time has gone by and does no longer fit with that, they've kind of given up on the idea. But the problem is that they looked at it from their perspective instead of God's perspective. Now, the key date to look at in all of this is actually 30 AD. Now, this is the date that Jesus died on the cross, was buried, rose again from the dead. This is the most important day for us for he played for our salvation. Now, let's just kind of go through this. In the year um, 4004 BC, uh, Bishop Usher and others' uh, notation of when creation took place, we go all the way to the, the end of the Millennial Kingdom on this particular chart. But the uh, date that we want to start with for this 7,000 years is not 4004 BC, but actually 3,970 BC. Now that's 33 and a half years or 34 years difference from the creation date. And the way that we get to that date is we uh, start with the death of Jesus and we go back uh, 4,000 years, which takes us to 3970. Now, to go all the way back to creation, we would have to add another 34, 33 and a half years. Now, Jesus was born, uh, according to the teaching, uh, at uh, 4 AD, and he died at 30 AD. Well, that's uh, basically 33 and a half years that are uh, accredited to uh, Jesus' sinful life. Now, Adam is said to be a type of Christ, so Adam was sinless in innocency for an amount of time. Well, according to this, we're going to say that that's the same amount of time that Jesus lived on the earth, 33 and a half years. And that takes us from 3970 uh, back to 4004. Now, if we um, go from... 3970, and we go 4,000 years upward, we get to the death of Christ, 30 AD. That's 4,000 years of our 7,000 year period. Well, add another 2,000 years since the time of Jesus died, and that takes us to 2030. Now, that takes us to the time period uh, we're going to say is the second coming. Not the rapture, but the second coming. Now, before the second coming is a time period of seven years, and that's the Great Tribulation. So, that would have to begin at 2023. Now, the rapture could take place at any time. This making of the videos year is 2021. So, it has to be sometime between 2021 and the end of 2023, which is only uh, a couple of years. And so, when the Antichrist makes his uh, covenant with Israel, that's when the tribulation begins, not at the rapture, though the rapture may take place right about that same time anyway. So, we find in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, that uh, uh, this, this uh, alliance is made, and then three and a half years into it, he breaks that alliance. So, that's halfway through the tribulation. That's the the midpoint, that's when the Great Tribulation takes place. Well, as you can look on this particular chart, we have this time period up here of 7,000 years from 3970 to the end of the Millennial Kingdom. If we take 6,000 years of that, we, we have the same time up until uh, this time right here. And then down here on the map, on, on the, uh, the chart, we have a uh, 
period of seven years that's listed there that you can see, as well as a, a time period of the Millennial Kingdom, which is a thousand years. And so it's exciting to look at this particular prophecy of 7,000 years, that it's still uh, very viable because it allows us a couple more years uh, until the time of the tribulation, time of the rapture, thousand years after that, the millennial kingdom, the great white throne judgment, and the new, um, the new heaven and the new earth. Hopefully this will be um, enlightening to you.